There isn't a lot of traffic on this windy stretch of highway between Port of Basque and Stephenville, Newfoundland. Not too many homes along the roadside either. But everyone knows this building, the Chig Nick Lodge. And any time the marquee says that Minnie White and the boys are playing, well, as they say in Newfoundland, by 10 o'clock tonight, sir, the parking lot will be blocked right tight. It's just 7 o'clock, but already the tables are being moved off the dance floor. And Minnie White, all five foot three of her, is taking charge. Okay. I like to have the drums a little, you know, not so loud as the corny. Oh, yeah. I have the drums more in the back. Okay. Right. At 75 years of age, Minnie had to wait a long time for her yeah. musical career to happen. And she's not well. letting go now. Trust string guitar, see, would be better for recording, you know? I'll gear that up, yeah. No problem. Yes. Okay. We'll get you to try your accordion now, will you? Yeah. The story of Minnie and her accordion is the story of a musical gift that was lost and then found again. Eight years old, I said. I used to come home from school and I'd sneak my father's car and he'd open my bedroom. And my grandma used to say, shut the door. She couldn't stand the noise, see? You know, I guess I put in some hard bones out of her at the time when I started. <laughs> she come and she shut the bedroom door. Not too much noise, she said. When she was 16 years old, Minnie left home looking for work. She ended up as a housekeeper in the little community of Tompkins in the beautiful Codroy Valley. In 1937, she married a local farmer, and here, in a house of her own, she had children, six in all. With all that to keep her busy, she forgot about the accordion she'd left behind. When I came up here, I fell in love. You know what that does to you? <laughs> you forget all the rest. What happened? Yeah, you, fit, you forget all the rest. And then, well, once I got married, that and children, well, that was music enough. The only music Minnie played while her kids were growing up was on this old pump organ. No one knew she could play anything else. It wasn't until she was 55 years old and all but one of her children had left home that a friend found out about Minnie's first musical love and gave her an accordion. Minnie hadn't held an accordion on her lap for 39 years, but she hadn't forgotten a thing. I did it by myself and I tried it, you know, and played. As soon as I touched her, my gosh, everything came back to me and I was on top of the world. Now, a lot of people, Minnie, would say, you know, the older I get, the further away the dream becomes. No, I never felt that way. I did everything else. I looked after the family. And time was coming when I was going to have to sit in a rotten chair and knit all the time. Or get up and do, and do what I want to do. What I want to do is get into the music. And that's what I did. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Newfoundland's first lady of the accordion, Mrs. Minnie White. Come on now. When word got out about Minnie's musical reincarnation, people came out in droves to hear her special blend of Irish and Acadian accordion styles. They also came just to see her, this tiny but determined woman, dressed in her trademark formal gown and jewels. Minnie was quickly becoming a seasoned performer, but she still wasn't ready for her next career move. The day that Minnie was asked to go to St. John's to cut a record, she almost didn't go. She was finally talked into going, though, in spite of her doubts. Minnie didn't know whether people outside the Codroy Valley would buy a record of her music. But she'd waited so long for this second career of hers, and Minnie White wasn't about to stop now.
One successful recording session has led to another, with many gaining confidence, not to mention new fans every time out. Is that a take? It took a while, but Minnie and her accordion have truly made a name for themselves. Her records and cassettes are selling well all across the province. And when she plays live, parking lots are, well, as they say around here, they're locking up tighter than ever. It's hard not to kick up your heels when Newfoundland's first lady of the accordion is playing. Minnie's dream that began with her father's accordion when she was just eight years old is finally coming true. But sometimes Minnie still has a hard time believing it. I never ever thought that I would go as far as I'm gone right now. It makes you happy, don't it? Imagine.